in this video I'll be showing you how to convert audio files into text document using Python. Speech recognition is the process of conversion of an audio file to a text file. It's most commonly used in this real world for example in Google's Home Mini or Amazon's Alexa or even Apple's Siri. These are just the popular ones. In order to use this uh, Google speech recognition API in Python first of all we need to have this cloud API in our system. To download that, we'll be using PIP installer. So just open the command prompt and type simple commands that will install the cloud API in your system. So type PIP install speech recognition. And note that all the commands I'm, I'm writing, which I'm writing in the command prompt are case sensitive. So typing this instruction will download the module from the internet so make sure that you have connected to the internet so this should take some time in downloading this is a file module of around 35 to 40 MB of data in my system I already have this file downloaded in yours for the first time it might take a little bit more time so once you have downloaded it uh, the next step is writing the Python code so to write Python code I'll be using sublime text editor you can write python code anyway even in the notepad or the python's own text editor so talking about the python i mean the google clouds api it's a freeware which can be imported and used in any programming languages not just python so once i have created a python file uh, the next step is importing the API that I have downloaded in the command prompt so it's not just voice to text editor there are many other free APIs available in the Google's cloud that can be downloaded and imported and then used in Python so I'll type a simple instruction that will import this module so type import speech recognition as SR so once we have imported the module the next step is to create a recognizer instance so in order to do that we are creating a variable R and then just type this instruction R equal to SR dot recognizer so here we have imported the module and created a recognizer so once we are done with creating and um, creating a recognizer next step is to import the audio file so in order to import the audio file make sure that you have audio file of mp3 or wave format inside a folder so in order to import we'll write simple commands audio file equal to sr dot audio file test dot wave test dot wave is nothing the folder nothing but the folder or the audio file name I have given so once you are done with importing the audio file next thing is to recognize the text so in order to recognize the text we are using Google's recognize text method so first thing what you are gonna do is type simple command with audio file as source and remove the noise from this audio file that's nothing but the low amplitude signals which we do not want in the output format so once we are done with clearing the noise next thing is to do next thing to do is send this audio to the Google's cloud API so we have stored the raw format of the audio in the variable audio so once we are done with that next step is to send this raw format to the google recognize api so whatever the result or the output we are getting as a process of conversion from the google's recognize api that will be stored in the variable result okay now the text or the strings 
in the audio file are stored in the result now the next step is to put this strings or the words of the audio file into a file into a text file so first of all create a text file and open it with in the write mode So once we have uh, created our text file, we'll just do some modification or do some design to our text file so that it's easy to understand what the text file is. So I'll be writing recognize text. So whatever the words you are going to write from the audio file uh, will be written under the headline of recognized text. So, yeah, go for the next line, uh, slash in, and print the result to the file. File dot write of result, and there we go. We have completed our program. Next thing is just an information or a written command to the user so that user can understand the conversion has been completed so you can write any comment not necessarily conversion is complete so yeah hooray conversion is complete yeah i'll go for that yeah once you're done writing this code um next thing is uh, just close save this file and copy this file to the folder where your test audio file is present i'll open this audio file for you but what if somebody decides to break it be careful that you keep adequate coverage but look for places to save money maybe it can listen that yeah so i'll be pasting that file to the folder where the audio file is present now what you need to do is just run this program i'll be running it through the python ideal run this module so running this program takes a little bit time if the audio file is too big it may take more time so I have got the message hooray text file so here's the text file just open it so open with notepad and yeah there you have the recognized text and in the next yeah this is the text file of the audio file that we have listened. Thank you.